his way back. I mean, see how quick I was. How about I tell you, I ran behind all of them and came back. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> happens. You're not going to see me though. Uh, it could be flash times too. <laughs> but you were so fast, the camera just didn't pick up. I don't like to talk too much about it, but you know, like, it's not about me, it's about the flash. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Shout him, man. Yeah, man, it's your boy, Young Philly. Hey, man. Yo, my people, it's Chucks. Yes, and we are joined with the humble and talented Brandon Williams. Hi, By the way, this feels amazing. This feels Obviously, amazing. I can't come over there and yeah. give you a hug. Yeah, yeah but changed. this is good enough. So we are going to be doing the pavement to pitch. We want to get to know a bit more about Brandon. Obviously, we know he's a baller, but I want to know more about your life. Oof. So can we pick your brains? Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, brother. So listen, we'll go for the, yeah, yeah, pick your brain. I'm moving next to this, though. So chat to me, bro. Where did you start kicking ball? How old were you? Because a lot of people always say the mad Six, ages. So seven, well, how old were you when you got picked up as well? So when I was about the six age. <laughs> you know what, bro? Why is everyone getting grabbed at six? Six. What are they doing? What were you doing different at six years old, bro? Question though, did you start at six or did you get a move at six? So I got picked up from United at seven, but I started playing ball at six and I wasn't really into football. It was my cousin, big cousin. That's mad. So then he just, there's a pit, there's a, like a little football pitch, like yeah. a concrete yeah. little football pitch. And he used to take me on there and just like kick a ball at me, I chest it, I shoot or just run because when I was young, I was like, I was quick. So I was always one of the quickest. So I think at that age, there's always like that one kid who's in school who just stands yeah, out. Yeah, and, yeah, there always is. You know what I mean? So I think just, it's down to my cousin, to be honest, of just getting me into football, getting me, getting me playing, getting me how to touch a ball, how to shoot. And then by the time I was seven, I was playing for a local team called Berry Amateurs. Then we went to a tournament in Blackpool and then like, Seven, eight teams wanted me like United, City, Chelsea, like. And this all is at seven years old, yeah. Mm, so, but obviously I'm I'm from Manchester. My dad was the United fan and stuff, so I just went, I went, I went with United, and I've been there ever since. We'll get to like the debut and all that after. Dad must have been gas, but I didn't feel. Well, obviously you're young, but did he ever tell you how he felt when you signed at like seven years old? Has you ever had a chat with you or not? Yeah, like he's always been proud. It always like meant so much to him. That's why yeah. all, he was like. My mum and dad are totally different. Like, my mum would let me off with a couple of things, but my dad was strict. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, you need to train, you need to keep practicing. Yeah, same, yeah. <laughs> Stuff like this. So, yeah, it makes me so happy that I can walk out on Old Trafford and my dad's there. Wow. So crazy. What I have found, Brandon, with being in Manchester is that it's not hard to get to A and B. Like, in London, if I wanted to go to Chunks' house, believe it or not, he lives an hour and 30 minutes from me. It's like, I've got to plan my day to go see my boy. Whereas here, you could last minute go Check to the other goes, side yeah. of Manchester. Yeah. So seeing as the city is so small, what's the attention like for you? Like, is it? You yeah. must be getting clocked 24. Yeah, yeah I, think, I think it's changed a lot, obviously. Like, so I can't, just, I can't just go and walk through the city centre and just like have a nice chilled walk yeah. or something. So I think I have to, certain times, go do things, gotta have some people around me and yeah. stuff like that. But I don't mind it, but sometimes I want to go do something, but I'm yeah, just yeah, like, yeah, yeah, bro, yeah, you yeah, can't. So. Me and him lived exactly the same. <laughs> like, so you, you just can't, like, you got to put yourself in the right situations and the right positions, you know? Yeah, yeah. avoid the school hours. Yeah. Wow, three to six. avoid the school hours. <laughs> three to Last six. time me and Chunks left the, the house after three, long day. Yeah, yeah. It's that impossible. Happened. You yeah. won't see us on the road after three. <laughs> yeah, no, that's no, serious. No, that's real life. But we programmed that into ourselves. Yeah, exactly. Mm. And that's, that's what you have to do, innit? Mm. Crazy, bro. I know that your cousin's a boxer, yeah? Well, when, when's his next fight then? August 14th. Wow, he Realist. knows his dates. Like yeah? yeah? Good family member <laughs> and a fan. <laughs> yeah. Question is though, what's his name? Zelfa Brown Flash Barrett. Flash? Zel what is it? Zelfa Brown, Brown Flash, Flash Barrett. Barrett. Yeah, that's hard. Yeah. Flash, that means... Flash. Yeah. yeah, he's moving yeah, quick. He's quick, he's quick. What, 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 what division? Um, uh, featherweight. Feather, he just moves. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, that means he's a move. light one. Yeah, yeah, yeah you see the yeah. Them ones, all them I like that, yeah, mm -hmm. crazy. <laughs> one thing I can say is that boxing training is very difficult. Mm -hmm. I've done it with Chunks. We've done it in Thailand. I think Chunks even still does it now. Yeah. Um, have you ever done boxing training? I wouldn't say like on a consistent basis, like I've done it for a week or so. And I think on my days off or something, just to keep fit all through See, the so summertime. I've, I've got a question because I've been hearing this like debate that train, like boxing training is the hardest yeah. training yeah. ever. So do you struggle more training boxing than when you have like a serious intense training session? 
No, I go with a serious, intense training session. Yeah, so mm -hmm. you say that's harder for you? Yeah, but like, for one I'm day... I'm on a physical aspect though. Like. On one day, for one day, the, the football, but for a week or leading up to a fight, boxing, it's like... Okay, the way he okay. just he just shuts down, like you can't contact him, you can't oh, go no. see him. Yeah, yeah. Do you want to go get some food? We'll get a reply oh, until like, after the fight. But so. I don't feel like, I feel like he's just a champion, you know? Yeah. yeah, yeah I know boxers that are not like that, bro. It's all what? scheduled. My, my bread in boxes. I link my boy before his fight. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm running. yeah, good luck. <laughs> like it's different, yeah, but yeah. he's a champion. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's mentality. Trust me. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah. Man said he can't chat to his cousin, bro. Yeah. That's Dude, mad. Man, I can't reply. That's, that's a mad. Fight. Yeah, I'm ready now. <laughs> mad. That's mad. When was the last fight you went to? Oh. Did he win? Of course he won. He won the Commonwealth. Of course he won. What? Yeah, he oh, he's, he's yeah, good, no, good. He's like, he ain't a yeah. joker. No, no, no. Well, you got to say that then. Oh, he ain't no, he's a good. He's serious. Oh, well. He's serious. So he's, looking, he's looking to make it to the big, big, big. He was British champion at one point, oh, and then, oh, big. then he did his, um, he got an injury. So now he's, he's on his way back. I mean, see how quick I was? How about I tell you, I ran behind all the little kids. Yeah, happens. You're not going to see me, though. They call me flash times two. <laughs> you know what I mean? Chat to your He's saying, so when you went like that, you I went, went all the way around yeah, the camera and, and come back. back. Yeah. But you were so fast, the camera just didn't pick it up. I don't like to talk too much about it. You know, like, it's, not, it's not about me, it's about the flash. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Shout out to him. So since the restart, you guys have been amazing. Mm -hmm. um, how has the feeling been in and around the club, the dressing room? You, like, yeah. yeah, I think everyone's back. So over the time, everyone came back from injury. Everyone had time to recover, and we've we've come back and we've won all the games. It's bar one that was a draw to Tottenham, but I think the mentality around the club now is just win, win, win. Not not letting it win a couple games and then thinking, oh, we can win anyone now. But it's just keeping that mentality that we need to go again and need to go again. Yeah, Chucks, they're definitely winning in style. Right? Oh, mm -hmm. that, even, and even giving it like the, the youngsters a, a try as well. That's what I love about it. Like, Mason, you know, he's doing this. He's moving nuts. He's yeah. bagging, what, 17 goals already? He's crazy. He is crazy. He, you, how, how's he in training? He must be just, just focused 24 like you. Yeah, 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 he's always working on his on his foot. I don't know which foot he is. I, like. I don't know. How about that? <laughs> Foot, it's right foot. impossible. Huh? It's impossible to know. Oh, Serious? Did you see them two goals on the yeah. weekend? <laughs> I love the way he said left that. Foot. Hey, he's a good friend, <laughs> yeah. you know. But that's what you're saying. Mm. Bro, you remind me of Van Persie. Has anyone ever said that to you? Yeah. Isn't the it? way, yeah. Just moves. The way he strikes yeah, it. Yeah. And he's yeah. 18. Mm. Yeah, not. Yeah. Good. Freaking long still. What was he like, youth football? Was he doing that normal youth football? Yeah. I think his stats, his stats are crazy. Well, I think he got like... 31 goals with 30 games. Like, over, like so over, the, over the two seasons, I think it's like 58 games, 62 goals or something. What's that about then? So what's he doing there then? Like, because he used to be in around the first team, the 23s, the 18s, so in the big games like the Youth Cup and that, he used to come down and just bag a hat-trick. Big, score a couple big. goals there, score and it, it's so, You see now that we've touched that, like, how, how does that feel? Because obviously you've got to the point now where you've, you've made your way into the first team, but how does it feel like getting there with guys that you've grown playing with from the start as well like Mace, you know what I mean? Yeah, it makes it so much more special like because be you sick. in the changing room when you're like 10, 11 you joke about it and then when yeah, imagine then that. like when we walk out on, on on Old Trafford and just like it's just like playing with each other because you know each other for yes, years so I can imagine. it actually makes it so much more easier so but I'm just like it makes me proud that they've they, that they've done the same journey as me and yeah, we can like yeah. And, and also, at what point did it sink in for you? Like, was it your debut? Was it, I don't know, the day that you swapped a shirt with a player? Like, what mm. made you realise, do you know what? Like, I'm, I'm, I'm doing yeah, it, yeah, yeah, like, I'm well done. Like, I'm proud of my, do you know what I mean? Yeah. What made you kind of realise you was? I think when I didn't play games for like a couple, like a few games, like I got left out of the team for about four or five games or something over the Christmas break. So then I realised like it's not just comfortable, like you can't yeah. just play a few games and like you've got to be on it 24-7. So I think then, yeah. I, then I realised like I've got competition, so yeah. I'm, trying to, I'm trying to cement my place in the team. Look at the club you're at bro, it's yeah, just competition yeah, non-stop. Everywhere. How's that having him as a mentor, like, as a manager? Like, he must, because obviously I know he's given the kids a try, mm. the youngsters a try, so how does that feel like? I think having a manager like that who's won everything really, and he's been through it all, so he knows what he wants out of players, he knows he's, how he wants us to play, and the, the way he is, because he's, to everyone, he's, 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 he's kind, he's nice, the way he talks and stuff, but he's also got that side to him that will, um, that will give us a push and a boost, like he's, he, he's not afraid to shout and stuff, so. Yeah. I think he's just he's, a, he's just a manager that you want around you. He'll put your arm around you now and then to let you know, or he'll be like, 
you need to be ready for this game or you need to be ready and you need to keep on working, keep on keep on practicing like trying to go home for training he's, he's calling you back saying no you got you got this thing to do and stuff no, like that. No, so, is that what he's on, yeah? So it's cold, it's cold. He has mm. to do that. So I think big stage. He's yeah. going above and beyond though. You have to. Mm. Big United, bro. A he's going above and beyond. Because like, he's, like, he's seen all the players. Like, he's seen Ronaldo, he's seen Roy Keane. He's had all, he's, he's, ex, he's experienced he it all. Yeah. He's seen every persona, every yeah. ability. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's true, man. Mm. Obviously, a way, you might look at as Oli as like a mentor, but who do you look at more as like a, is there like a big brother figure? Like, maybe an older player in the team that kind of took you on board and said, bro, like, you know what I mean? Mm. Work hard or... I think it's just like Rashi and Jesse, like, they've been through it already, like, They've already been through the, the youth stage, the start of the career, like they're into the seasons and how many seasons they're on. So I think them two have been like, they've always made sure I was all right. When I first got into the team, they was just speaking to me on a regular basis, making sure that I was eating the right things and stuff like this. So. Shout out to you, man. Eating the, yeah. I know, yeah. Rush, yeah. Lingi. <laughs> Man, well done, well done, well done. Man said, make sure you're eating the right Max. things. Mm. Yeah, they know what they're doing. Oh my God. Good stuff. What are you eating then? Just good stuff. <laughs> yeah, just good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good stuff. Yeah. Good stuff. 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 Good um, he has been the humble, the talented Brandon Williams. I have been your host for the most. I go by the name of Young Philly. Chunks. We are over and... Out, baby.